Breaking news, a major escalation tonight in the Middle East. The Pentagon has confirmed President Trump ordered U.S. airstrikes that killed a top Iranian general. Tonight, major developments follows two days of unrest outside the U.S. Embassy in Baghdad. KKL 9's Randy Page joins us now with the very latest tonight. Randy? A really dangerous time in the Middle East tonight. Veteran correspondents in the Middle East are describing tonight's rocket attack in near apocalyptic terms. And while most agree the Iranian general who was killed had it coming, there's concern Iran will consider this an act of war. <laughs> This video just in shows the wreckage from a rocket attack near Baghdad's international airport, which killed the Iranian general believed to be the most powerful military leader in this part of the world for more than three decades. His name, General Qasem Soleimani, the leader of the Iraqi Quds Force, a revered and prominent Iraqi military leader. Tonight, the Pentagon released this statement, which says in part, at the direction of the president, the U.S. military has taken decisive defensive action to protect U.S. personnel abroad by killing Qasem Soleimani, the head of the Iranian Revolutionary Guard. General Soleimani was actively developing plans to attack American diplomats and service members in Iraq and throughout the region. CBS veteran Pentagon correspondent David Martin. This is a person with the, uh, the stature of the Secretary of State, the Director of the CIA, the Secretary of Defense, the Chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, and you can imagine what the U.S. reaction would be if Iran killed one of those figures. I think Iran will take this as an act of war. Also killed in the American rocket attack, Abu Mandi al muhandis the commander of the Iraqi-sponsored paramilitary group responsible for the attack this weekend on the American embassy in Baghdad. Middle East experts are saying Soleimani is responsible for the deaths of hundreds of American soldiers, not to mention massive bloodshed in Iraq, Syria, Lebanon, and elsewhere. There's no question uh, that from the point of view of getting a bad guy, this, is, uh, this was justified morally. But it is huge, politically, geopolitically, because the Iranians will probably feel that they have to respond. Uh, it also places the Iraqi government in a very precarious position. I'm reading reports, for example, that talk about uh, there are, there are, uh, there's anger in Iraq because people think Iraqi government intelligence was provided to mm. the Americans, which is almost certainly true, which is what made this strike possible. If that's the case, what that suggests is that the government of Iraq essentially helped to kill one, one of Iran's most important figures. And remember, Iran is also a patron. So this is going to get very messy very fast. CNN correspondent Arwa Damon is in Baghdad tonight reporting the country is trembling at the thought of what could happen next. This is potentially going to shake Iran, Iraq, the entire region in a way that is very difficult to predict right now, but is not going to end up well for the people in this region. President Trump, a man who is usually never at a loss for words, responded with this single tweet tonight, a tweet with no words, but instead a single powerful symbol. And now the world watches and waits for Iran's response.